Peace. I'm Jamal Tuilo Dula Bay, the national chairman of the Rise of the Moors nonprofit civic organization. The purpose of our organization is to perform all things appropriate to portraying the overall history of our ancestors, the Moors, who now identify themselves as Negroes, Blacks, Colored, Hispanic, West Indian, and Latinos. We are dedicated to correcting the political status of our people by enlightening the minds of our fallen Moors and restoring them to their info life status. This process has been depicted in the temples of our ancestors, written in hieroglyphics, portraying the rising of the dead. In law, this dead status is called civiliter mortus, and in English means dead in the eyes of the law. This fact is the very reason why our people, who have been branded Negro, Black, Colored, Hispanic, and Indian, have no rights within the United States. To correct this issue, we follow the footsteps of al Haj Sharif Abdul Ali, who in 1913 established the old Canaanite temple in Newark, New Jersey, and later established the Moore Science Temple of America, headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. The purpose of his organization was to correct the aforementioned issue of our civilly dead people. al Haj Sharif Abdul Ali's principles is what paved the way for what we now call Black Nationalism. The purpose of our organization is to revitalize the core principles of Noble Abdul Ali's organization. Since our inception, our organization has assisted both nationalized and denationalized Moors across the continents of North, South, and Central America. We have nationalized over 300 Moors and have assisted them in very important legal issues and disputes between themselves and citizens of the United States. In our endeavors, we have documented proof that we have gotten cases removed and dismissed in state courts against Moors, as well as filing claims in federal courts with Moors pursuant to our treaty, fulfilling the duties as counsel with the absolute recognition of the United States federal courts. Some of our cases can be found on the public information page of our website, risingthemoors.org. We have also started and participated in several charitable events, providing food and clothing and other items for people in need. We have also established communication with Providence City, excuse me, Providence City Councilwoman Carmen Castillo, asserting our status as indigenous people in order that our rights as a separate nation of people be honored and recognized pursuant to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. We have also established our own treasury as instructed by Prophet Noble Dr. Ali, and I've also been fortunate enough to sit down and speak with Chief Justice Frank J. Williams of the Rhode Island Supreme and Superior Court due to our civic involvement and status as an indigenous nonprofit civic organization. We are not in opposition to Noble Dr. Ali's Moore Science Temple of America, nor are we in opposition to the Nation of Islam. In fact, we're looking towards the future to see exactly how our organization can assist both the Nation of Islam and the Moore Science Temple of America. In fact, here are some of the things that the Nation of Islam and our organization have in common. Number one, we know we are a separate nation of people. The Nation of Islam speaks of a separation between the black man in America and the white man in America. Moors also believe in a separation, but from a legal and international standpoint. It's referred to as diversity of citizenship or diversity of nationality, and we have the right to form our own states administered by Moors. To clarify, we are trying to establish our own national government for our people, by our people. We have zero interest in overthrowing the United States European Corporation. We also have zero interest in attacking any government. Our intentions are not to promote civil unrest, but we do emphasize the right to enforce our right to self-defense against any tyranny and any form of oppression. As stated by our prophet, we are for love, truth, peace, and freedom. Once these principles are violated, Justice must then take its course. Number two, the Nation of Islam desires to have all black men and women released from state and federal prison 
who have been convicted unlawfully and without justice. The Moors desire the same thing. As we know, most of our people have been convicted of victimless crimes, and we have the case law and res judicata to prove it. We also know that we have the right to our own courts and have the right to provide counsel for our people in disputes between them and citizens of the United States. Number three, the Nation of Islam speaks on the black man not being taxed by the United States. We Moors have proof that we don't get taxed by the US because of the issue of diversity. These three facts are more than enough for us to unite for the salvation of our people because we all know we are the original man and woman of the planet. We are hereby establishing our nationwide temple initiative. And as our prophet stated, if you have race pride and love your race, join our organization. We need strong men and women who think that their conditions can be better. If you're interested in establishing a Rise of the Moors temple in your area, visit riseofthemoors.org and you'll see on our homepage, a Rise of the Moors application form. Once downloaded, you'll receive instructions on how you can become part of our organization. To be clear, you are a Moor by blood and do not need to join our organization to be considered a Moorish national. But what we are trying to establish is a network of active Moors across the Americas to help facilitate the realization of Prophet Noble Jarley's prophecy regarding us taking our place amongst the affairs of men. Peace.